Should I visit Albania? Well, for most people, they might be asking the question, Albania, where's that? Well, look, it is an unfamiliar place. It's on the uh, Adriatic Sea. It's bordered by Montenegro, Kosovo, North Macedonia, and Greece. It's uh, had a turbulent history. It's been ruled by the Ottoman Empire for 500 years. And uh, of course, as most of us know, it was controlled by a communist regime after the war and only recently became a functioning democracy. I, I recall that my American passport uh, many years ago forbade me from visiting Albania. <laughs> uh, in other words, uh, they wouldn't give me any protection, uh, along with, I think it was North Korea, China, and Cuba. So it's kind of an odd place and nobody seems to know much about it. So. Uh, at the same time, organized tourism seems to be opening up. So, is it a good idea to go there or not? Let's, uh, let's look at both sides. First of all, those who would say uh, yes. Well, to begin with, uh, many of the tourists that are going to Albania uh, go for the beaches. Uh, they really do have good beaches. The uh, Albanian Riviera, as they call it, has some of the finest stretches of coast uh, in Europe. And obviously that's an attraction for the uh, English tourists seeking warmth in the south of Europe. And it's a cheaper alternative to Greece and, and the Costa del Sol. It's uh, geographically, it's a naturally stunning place. It uh, has majestic mountains. It's got a pretty coastline. It's a scenically beautiful place and worth visiting just for that reason. Uh, its turbulent history has also meant that Alba Albania is home to some of Europe's most uh, remarkable archaeological treasures. They reflect the Venetian, Greek, Ottoman, and Roman influence over, over many centuries. There are two UNESCO World Heritage Sites, including the ancient city of Boothrotum, which was described by the poet Virgil as Troy in miniature and boasting remains from both Epirote, that is from the ancient Greek kingdom of Epirus, and Roman times. Then there's the ancient city of Apoll Apollonia, uh, which was found as a Greek colony in 588 BC, and later was home to a very famous school of oratory. Um, and of importance to tourists, uh, English is widely spoken. Uh, two-thirds of school children are alleged to have a working knowledge of English. So, obviously that makes traveling a lot easier and a lot more comfortable. So, all in all, uh, it sounds like it's a good place to visit. There's a lot to see. So, when you have a chance, uh, go visit Albania. Okay, well, what about those who would say, no, you ought to really, uh, <laughs> you probably shouldn't go. First of all, there is a general threat from terrorism. The Foreign Office, uh, if you look at their website and ask what they think, says you should remain vigilant and follow the advice of local authorities, and in particular, avoid any political rallies or demonstrations, as there, there's always the possibility they could uh, turn violent. Uh, and when visiting hill towns on the northern border of the Kosovo, if you are inclined to do that, Heed the warning signs about unexploded landmines and other unexploded ordnance. Uh, dodgy area, that. Uh, and thref theft from uh, vehicles is quite common. Uh, gun ownership is widespread. Petty crime occurs. Take care of your belongings on, uh, on public transport. All in all, it's a bit risky. I think you probably should think twice about visiting Albania. Okay, those are the uh, negative arguments. What, what's my take on it? Well, look, I, I, I think that uh, Albania is a bit like visiting Egypt. There's, there's obviously a lot to see of archaeological and historic interest. And unlike Egypt, uh, there's quite a lot of very pretty countryside. Uh, but also, like Egypt, there's also a threat of violence by ethnic and religious fanatics. And so you really, you do, really do have to be quite cautious. Now that means that Albania really is, uh, although a country worth visiting, you should do, the, do so in the protection and care of a group. Solo travel seems to me to be unwise. 
well that's how i come out of that one uh hope you liked it uh and take a look at some of uh similar vid videos that i have and uh and subscribe please thanks a lot bye, -bye.